staying with the inaugural Cultural and Creative Industry Awards, I spoke with some of the Mzansi stars about what this event means to them. Take a look at this. At the Santon Convention Center for the inaugural Cultural and Creative Industry Awards, an initiative of the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture, recognizing the stars of the creative sector. And I am with renowned multi-award winning actor Zolisa Haluba. Thank you so much for joining us. What does this award mean for you as a creative practitioner? It comes from the government, you know, which is the one sphere that we're actually looking for support from. So it's a step in the right direction by Mr. Zizi Gwadwa and his people to at least start with acknowledgement. Uh, being acknowledged means we see you. Uh, you can't really do anything for me if you don't see me. So this is the first step and it's a step towards the right direction. I know there's a famous uh, statement that he made, I just arrived, I just arrived. Well, now he hasn't just arrived, he's sitting down and he's folded his arms and he's sitting at the table and we're hoping to have a sit down and talk and try and find common ground and find things with, uh, in which or with which we can, uh, you know, develop the industry and make it better and uh, make it more lucrative for the artist. What are some of the, the important aspects of the conversation that needs to be had? Uh, royalties are always first and foremost. Uh, it's very difficult. It's quite, quite, quite painful, rather, to be in a situation where you create a show, you do the best you can, it becomes owned by the broadcaster, the producer himself does not get sometimes the royalty. It gets exploited, it gets sold all over the world, and you, you get nothing for it. It's uncommon in other parts of the world, but, but for some reason they, they think it's, uh, it's okay for us to be accepting of this. So that's the first one. And the tax situation is quite painful. We were already going at minimum wage, you know, to be taxed 25% of that when you, you have to have uh, medical aid and all these other things. You have to buy a car. And the bigger star you become, you, you, you cannot just be moving around, you know, you have to have a house where you can have your own privacy, you know, there's an expectation that it should be a particular way in public, so the expectation is not reflective of the money that we get, and the kind of assistance with tax would be quite helpful from the government. Mm. Just to, to name but a few things, yeah, right. but there's a lot more, there's a lot more. If you were Minister of Sport, Arts and Culture for one day, and you can change one thing, any policy, what would that be? Uh, the, the, the tax policy. I think it's fundamental for all artists, whether you are a visual artist, whether you're an actor or a musician or any form of artist, you know, because I mean, artists form an integral part of society. We, we, we are the voice, we're the mirror of society. Uh, to be sidelined and be seen as that other department is not good for the arts and even more so for the country. And I think the government should be more cognizant of who we are and the contribution we have to society.